field goal for Roddy. Can you accomplish? Yeah. Okay. Get up. 
This is General Blasto taking a hit to let you know that all is well on Earth. I'm letting you know the spacemen will not tolerate what we do here on Earth. But it's only of consequence that we must deliver our farewell message now. And so, I will read you the list of all the things that we will need to be have done. Dear General Blasto, no, this is the wrong letter. I'm sorry, I'm about to laugh, so I'll be cutting out. Be back in a second with more business. Ah. General Blasto Productions presents General Blasto on his way to Mars on the space bus. Take it away, General Blasto. Oh, this trip is making me sick. Oh. <coughs> oh. I better go to the Bat Cave and feed Batman and Robin. <coughs> The space bus is leaving without you. You had ten minutes to get on the plane, and yet the plane crashed and burned. Why weren't you on that plane? Valley Sunday, and I'm on my knees in heaven. Let's hear it for heaven, the place where you're okay. General Blasto, you are a Kaiser. Go fish in the toilet. Get the Kaiser. Hello? No, Patriot. You will be shot. I'll be back in a little while, after the shooting. Say goodbye to your mother. Hello? And now General Blasto Productions presents The Boy Who Ate the Last Starfighter. One day, the starfighter was cruising through space and he came upon a little cottage, and in that cottage lived three bears. <clears throat> and then Humpty Dumpty fell over and was scrambled eggs, which the troops ate gladly so they could fight the fighting. I tell you this now, because you may have a question about it in the future, and let me tell you this, there are no answers. And now, I'll blow myself up for your pleasure. Thank you.
more. How much more? More. Oh. How much more? Keep going. Okay. I'm gonna go here first. Okay, we'll put it on. Okay. You should know.
you can't tell one cigarette from another. But let me give you these helpful tips in avoiding cigarettes in the future. When at a party, please, don't stand in the doorway. People want to come and go as they can. Just don't stand in the doorway. Number two. Rule number two. If the cat is sitting on the steps, please, don't move the cat. Remember, don't move the cat. Step three. If you're ever out smoking with friends, light a marijuana stick and see what they say then. Number four. Drive your car on the left side of the road. This will decrease the number of accidents caused by smoking and it will increase the number of cattle that get in from the west. These tips are from Help for, for, Help for Smokers. Yes. It's brought to you by, at, uh, what, I don't know, I don't remember the name of that council, but they're just a council that uh, government, you know, pay offs, you know, pay all you know. But we'll come back later on with another informative tip for you for whatever you're doing. So remember, when going and coming, make sure you take a copy of Rush Farewell to Kings with you, for your name may need it. You may need it to fight the Dark Lord, whoever the hell he is. I don't know. I've, I've got to go. Yeah, I'll be right back. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, why don't I just die and get it over with? Oh, I don't know. Why not just leave? Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. This is General Fausto. Blasting is my business. It's my only business. And now, we're on our way to Mexico to listen to the Mexicans sing a song for us from the My Fair Lady soundtrack. General Barstow presents, Senate Detention, presents, whatever is on the radio. Why, that sounds like General Barstow's Air Force. Coming in now, swooping in over landmark businesses. Uh, well, General Blasto has been drinking a lot, so I'll take over the podcast. This is John Medmuso coming in from Sequoia in South America. Hello, it's South America goes, and I'm a communist, and I've got red on my face, and I've got shit between my toes, and I've got, uh, uh, a red mark on my back, and one on my arm, and one on my elbow, and one on my foot, and I've got red marks all over my body, and I don't know what's happening. So... Send it back to General Barto. Uh, General Barto? General Barto, this is coming back to you whether you like it or not. This is General Barto. Thank you for waiting. It is now time to turn up the volume. Open your doors and windows. And so the world will see General Prosto at work as he is. Come in. So, 
Alright, any of you who want to hear Kenema Blasto, we'll go up to Channel Blasto right now. Channel Blasto, come in. That's it, Channel Blasto. You're going to get fired, you know. Yes, Channel Blasto. And may we send our congratulations to your son? I don't have a son, and you're, you're lying to me. Yes, General Blasto, it's true. You have a son. Thank you, General Blasto. We'll be, we'll be checking in and out with you uh, in the future, so come back to us later. Welcome once again to another chapter in the life of General Blasto. But first, we will have these messages from the following stations. Station E, Station K, and Station Q. Thank you. The Hindenburg. Yes, my friends, the Hindenburg is coming to town. And it's bringing a lot of passengers with it. Cargo and sailors from many nations back at Lakehurst, New Jersey this afternoon. The Hindenburg, symbol of Nazi power, symbol of trade with the West before the war. Oops, I'm not supposed to talk about that. Oh, sorry. Anyway, here comes the Hindenburg. It's landing now. Oh, it's burst into flames. Um, and now it's crashing to the ground. And the humanity of the passengers. And everyone get out quickly. And, well, there's not much left but a skeleton on the ground. We're going to talk with that skeleton when I come back. 